Hello, I'm Dr. Israel Barkin, the Medical Director of the Prostate Cancer Research and Education Foundation. And this week we have the topic of electroporation, prostate cancer treatment with irreversible electroporation, with the occasion of opening a new prostate cancer center in San Diego, where Dr. Ross Schwartzberg will perform irreversible electroporation. Electroporation, a study was done by Dr. Michael Stelling from Germany, more than 400 cases with a follow-up of five and a half years. The center will be located in San Diego, servicing patients from California, the US, and whoever is wishing to come to beautiful San Diego, the good weather, and get his prostate cancer treated in a non-aggressive way with what appears to be less side effects than other treatments. So let's go now to Dr. Schwartzberg, who will talk about electroporation. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Barkin. Um, it's a fascinating topic. Um, irreversible electroporation uh, is profoundly changing the prostate cancer treatment. And one could say that we're moving from the days of, or the dark ages of radical surgery to a new era of minimally invasive, but no less effective cancer treatment. Um, the idea behind radical surgeries, the oncologic principle that the more tumor you take out, the better the cure rate. But that really is not the case. And we know that uh, by experience with, for instance, breast cancer. Breast surgeons for a long time have been performing breast sparing surgery, taking only out the cancer while preserving uh, the rest of the gland with surgical, uh, with outcomes equal to or better using this technique. As of yet, uh, we have not adopted this type of approach with prostate cancer, um, and most men are directed to this uh, whole gland radical treatment. That's changing now because of IRE, irreversible electroporation, also known as nano knife treatment. Um, this allows us to remove the, the cancer, the prostate cancer, while preserving the prostate gland. It's called focal treatment because we're only removing the cancer foci. Um, it's again similar to the way modern breast surgery works. The added benefit, however, is that no open surgery is necessary. This is a procedure that is done um, just uh, through the skin. Um, Needle-shaped electrodes are introduced uh, through the skin of the perineum and, and short electrical pulses are um, generated, which, which um, produce uh, pores or holes in the cell membrane and therefore uh, lead to cellular death. And contrary to the other focal therapy energies used, IRE uh, is not a thermal energy. Um, there's no heating and there's no heating damage to the tissue. Uh, and this is great because it allows the tissue infrastructure, the scaffolding, the, the matrix, the interstitial tissues to it be preserved such that blood vessels and nerves are not damaged. And ultimately, uh, this allows for the critical functions uh, of um, potency and bladder control to be preserved. Um, it was initially thought that focal therapies, uh, including using irreversible electroporation, would be limited to um, patients with early stage cancer. But with Dr. Stelling's experience, we now know that IRE can be and has been utilized for patients with all stages of cancer. Um, uh, Dr. Stelling's treated many, many patients with advanced uh, T4 cancers with invasion into the bladder, into the rectum, um, and IRE has proven to be an extremely elegant way of approaching these very complex, difficult situations. Uh, recurrent cancers, as you know, are difficult to treat with conventional therapies, uh, particularly after radiation where the, where the tissues are all scarred and then brittle, um, and this leaves uh, IRE is really probably the only uh, option for men in these difficult situations. Um, so Dr. Stelling has performed over 500 uh, cases, and uh, he's shown that 
the IRA procedure uh, is as effective as surgery. So if you look at the Hahn tables, recurrence rates from Johns Hopkins, uh, Dr. Stelling's uh, data uh, is very favorable compared with the, the uh, data from patients getting uh, the recurrence rates of patients with radical prostatectomy. So in summary, we believe that IRE, we know that IRE is a much gentler way of treating prostate cancer without the risk of incontinence and a very low impotence rate, but it's also effective uh, with recurrence rates comparable to prostatectomy. So it's a suitable treatment for really uh, prostate cancer at all stages, and, and, and importantly, it's a great option for men with recurrent cancer and can be a problem, problem solver in patients with advanced cancers when surgery and radiation therapy really are no longer options. So I really appreciate the opportunity to speak to you. Thanks very much, Dr. Barkin. Dr. Schwartzberg, thank you very much for your enlightening short lecture about electroporation. If you want to learn more about electroporation, please write to us or get in touch with us. Please follow the contact information on the following screen. Take care, stay well, and stay informed. Bye-bye.